Hey everybody, this is EZ, and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft 2 Heart of a Swarm. The hybrid, their essence is strong, but I cannot collect it. Naru created them. Do you think he will bring you more essence if you follow him? That one serves a master who will devour all essence. You're talking about Amon. I think he's dead. And I'm going to make sure he stays that way. If that one lives, all essence will be collected. Change will stop. I will fight. This thing in the lab, this Nerud, it's shielding itself from me, but I can still sense its power. Tell me of it. It's like... Nothing I faced before. But you destroyed the Ancient One. You captured the power of Orzeras. This is something born of the Void. Cold and empty. But so powerful it hurts. Now, for this mission, I'm only going to do the evolution mission. Even if it's a 10 minute episode. Because this next mission requires me to focus. Protoss, my queen. In great numbers. Yes, I sense them now. Taldarim. They serve Amon willingly. They worship him. They worship a dead god. That makes them even more dangerous. I wonder how Narut could hope to resurrect a being as powerful as Amon. I think the hybrid are key. They gather psionic energy. But where would they get enough to resurrect a dead god? You told me an ancient Zelnaga artifact was used to make you human again. But all the power you wielded as the Queen of Blades, where did it go after your transformation? You mean there might have been hybrid nearby who gathered it? And used it to... Oh no. If Narud used the Zelnaga artifact in that way, he may already have enough energy to resurrect Amon. That is a scary thought. You don't get to act like an avatar this time. Perfection. Deep but in the core. Evolution mission from Mutilus. We get Broodlord. For augmentation. Or Located feral broodlords must reacquire essence. Can be spun into Mutilus strain. Now, like I said, I'm only going to do this evolution mission because this next mission is very hard and complicated. So, I that may actually be a mission where I would drop the difficulty. <laughs> because I do not know if I remember how to do it. Dominion Defense Platform, Sigma Centauri. Feral broodlords nearby. Missile turrets designed to kill mutilisks. Stalemate without broodlords. Find the broodlords. We'll assimilate their essence and destroy the Dominion. Now, each of these evolution missions seem to be getting longer and longer and longer. The funniest thing about all of this is. Kill Broodlords, recover essence. So... We shouldn't lose a Mutilus Grave here. Now, if Carrie can get control of the Feral Zerg, I'm just wondering to figure out why she's having trouble getting Broodlords and stuff like that. They were in her brood before. Assimilate their essence. Mutalisks can morph into Broodlord. Await your command. Now, this first part, they want you to use all Broodlords. After this, you will want some Mutalisks, trust me. Broodlord launches Broodling. Assault ground targets from distance. Now we can take out... Supplying Mutalisks will protect Broodlords. Complementary skills. 
boom, 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 dead, 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 dead. Now let's end this stalemate. Now you don't want to go any further than here without focusing you guys and then the control group. Because these are Vikings. They will lift off. They will attack your brood lords. If they're smart. See, now the Mutalists have to come in and attack the Vikings. Losing the Mutalist is not a big deal. Losing the Broodlords will be a big deal. That's the important thing you have to do. Make sure you don't lose your Broodlords. Now, like I said before, this mission seems to be getting longer and longer and longer every time. But these are the same buildings that carry you at spawn should she have gotten another ability. We're being overrun! Drop in reinforcements! You don't really need to kill everything. Vikings! Now, they keep setting up Marines, but Marines kind of get eaten alive by Broodlord to use correctly. Now, look at this. I mean, we're walking through these guys. Broodlords are very, very good. Military Fortress is dead. It's killed a shitload of units. It's dead. And that the completely Broodlord part of the mission. Secured. Not really. They still have turrets and bunkers and tanks, but whatever. Broke us her Dominion Storage World. Transport wreckage discovered. Jorium crystal contained within. Jorium, useful for experimentation, enhances psionic potential, must acquire. Completed research on primal essences, new strain created, Viper, ready to assault Dominion. Now the Viper is just like the Lurker and the other one, they're completely new units that have not been used in the game yet. Viper, strategic asset, abducts targets, pulls to its location, usable on ally or foe. Move across the river and pull our aberrations to the other side. Siege tanks detected. Use Vipers. Pull into range now, of No, this is just more fun than anything else. You get to just pull the siege tanks! There's not really a practical use for these guys, honestly. There really ain't a practical use for Vipers in the main game. So, I mean, doing this, it's all well and good, but I wouldn't really recommend it, because there's no practical use. Oh, you shot me. Faster. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. Viper. Emits disabling cloud. Foes within cannot attack. Rip that bunker apart. Did the operation did that much damage? It's pretty cool. Where should we get to what he is? Only the final defenses remain. Move in for the kill. Given, I'm not going to ever actually use aberrations. I'm just saying that they're decent enough, I guess. You can't actually lose an evolution mission, so I just keep giving you more units. Delivering reinforcements now. See? They just keep giving you more units, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I, did, I didn't mean to show that off, actually. I meant to actually do that with one. All Terran forces are dead. Jorium cargo secured. Must prepare Mutalisk Morph. Returning to Evolution Pit. Now, the only one that's, Mutalisk in my mind, functional would be the Brewboards. Oh, 
revolution complete. And folks, I do apologize for this being a very short episode. As I explained, the next mission is tough, and I would more or less like to focus more time on it. So... I'll show you the next mission. Narud Kill Narud. Kill Narud. Will Kerrigan finally be able to stop the being of ultimate power? Can she stop her once former ally, Lieutenant Duran? Can Kerrigan single-handedly bring an end to the hybrids? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm.